this is a great example of the arms race of AI versus AI. So deep fakes are synthetic videos that are created using deep learning technology, specifically generative adversarial networks that allow you to be able to create a video which looks like it's completely real, but in fact it often does something like superimpose one face on top of another to make it look completely natural. So for example, uh, there's a video from Jordan Peele that was circulated last year which demonstrated how he could provide the voiceover track for President Obama, but the video could be altered to completely match that and make it look as though Obama was saying those things. Right now, it's pretty easy for someone with the right skill set who accesses those tools to be able to create one, but it's not so easy that anyone can create a really well done deepfake that's going to fool a lot of people. It is possible for someone uh, who's very good at it to be able to create one that is good enough that it really attracts a lot of people's attention, but we can still see the artifacts in uh, the shortcomings of that technology. De deep fakes are most commonly distributed through the major social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and uh, other online sites. One of the things that can uh, accelerate the propagation of any sort of disinformation, including deep fake content, is when you've got a lot of accounts on a social media platform to be able to distribute that disinformation. So fake accounts are a big problem and Facebook has released some statistics on the number of fake accounts it detects on its system on a regular basis and what they published was that over the course of the last six months they actually detected and removed more than three billion fake accounts from their system. So there's technology that is being developed to be able to detect when a video has been synthesized using deepfake technology, but we also have to look at what's the source of a video, where did it actually come from, uh, and constantly be skeptical about if a celebrity or a politician is in a video doing things that they claim not to have done, that they claim is a, a fake video, uh, how do we actually verify whether or not their claim is true or if the video is true? And so I think that that's something that we're still figuring out in terms of uh, the social media platforms and online services. They are also proactively investing in technologies to be able to identify when such disinformation is being propagated through their systems. So detecting the fake accounts, detecting automated actions that spread disinformation, that's what the platforms are investing in. CAPTCHA is a mechanism that is designed to keep bots out and when it was first introduced more than 20 years ago, it did a reasonable job of being able to do just that. The problem now is that the bots have gotten so advanced that they can use optical character recognition based in machine learning to be able to solve all of the CAPTCHAs that are out there and humans have gotten really bad at solving CAPTCHA as the CAPTCHAs have gotten more sophisticated trying to keep the bots out. So now, unfortunately, CAPTCHAs are doing the exact opposite of what they were intended to do. They're keeping out humans who make mistakes solving the CAPTCHA more than two-thirds of the time, and uh, the bots have no problem at all being able to get past that challenge. We don't really see a lot of deep fakes in society yet, partially because of the limitations of the technology, but that only means that we have a limited amount of time before we're going to see them on many uh, channels and through social media platforms on a widespread basis. And I think that that's one of the things that uh, uh, we don't know the answer to. Who's going to create the majority of the deep fakes? Obviously folks that have a political agenda are incentivized to be able to create fake uh, political videos. But we'll see other forms of deep fakes that are done for amusement that will be built into other platforms much the same way that Snapchat filters exist. Because Deep fakes themselves are based in AI technology. They're using generative adversarial networks, which is a uh, machine learning technique to be able to create these fake videos. And once they reach a level of sophistication that they're going to be able to fool most human eyes, the only way to detect them is also going to be machine learning based. And so if we can develop AI based technology that is more sophisticated than the technology which generates the synthesized videos, then we've got a hope of being able to detect it on a regular basis. But it is absolutely an AI versus AI arms race.